hi there in this video I'm going to talk about how to create an HTML element inside your HTML document uh, on the fly using the jQuery script so if you are aware of the HTML document this is how it looks like you have HTML document starting with the HTML tag and ending with slash HTML and inside that HTML you have two sections called is the head and the slash head and the body and the slash body and the tags are body title paragraph uh, input and all kind of things so let us say that if I want to add a paragraph to the body dynamically how do I do that to start with I'll have to first include the jQuery to find the jQuery library I need to go to Google and search for jQuery Google CDN and then click on the first link and then I'm taken to the page uh, Google hosted library where I can just click on the jQuery and this is the place where I can find the hosted library of the jQuery so I can just copy this and place it in the head section of my document so now the jQuery will be included inside my uh, document when it's loaded by the browser uh, just make sure that you are connected to the internet so that uh, the file is uh, loaded from the website because it's hosted and you're not included in it in your uh, folder or anywhere else just make sure that and now we are going to add the paragraph dynamically to the body to do that if we were originally using a paragraph element it would look like something like this paragraph this is a paragraph and what we are going to do is instead of this we are going to use jQuery to dynamically insert this whole thing so now uh, let us see how jQuery is written so you use a tag called as the script and uh, the ending tag of that script every HTML tag has an ending tag is called as the slash script and inside that you're going to write your jQuery uh, code so it starts with dollar which is a, s a function for the jQuery it takes an argument called as document and when the document has been loaded it's uh, denoted by the ready function the ready function that gets called which has a function body and is completed by the semicolon inside this function body I'm going to write the code so to create a paragraph it's extremely simple all I need to do is dollar and inside that I'm going to write the paragraph that I want and this creates a object of kind of paragraph but standing alone it won't do anything it needs to be appended to the body so there are two ways to do it I can either store it in a variable and then I can go ahead and search for the body object which is the this tag and I can do an append and I can append the para variable in here let us see whether it works or not and then I'll show you the next way so I'm just going to run this file and you can see that the paragraph has been put inside the document if you look at the source code though by going to the view page source you will not find the paragraph object here because it has been dynamically inserted however if you right click on the paragraph and go to inspect element for example in a chrome browser all you're going to see is the paragraph object which is inside the body so this is the way to see whether any dynamic element has been added so
another way that i was talking about adding the uh, paragraph to the body is like this i'll just take this statement off and instead of uh, using this variable all i'm going to do is i'm going to create this paragraph and there is a function call as append to which means that i am creating the return value of this object and then appending it to the body tag let us see if that works like the way we have uh, written it so it works so basically we have uh, added the paragraph successfully to the body in two different ways now what if we want to add a paragraph inside a paragraph so we'll have to go to the old way which is create the variable and add the paragraph but before that if you want to add another paragraph inside that paragraph you create one more paragraph let's say call it paragraph 1 equal to dollar and i'll just copy this whole thing and this is new paragraph and what i'm going to do is i'm going to append the para uh, para 1 to para so i'm going to do this append and i'm going to append the para 1 to the para so appending would make sure that the para 1 is attached inside the para and then finally the para is attached to, uh, uh, is appended to the body so finally the para is appended to the body let us see if it works like that so it won't show in here but if you look at the inspect element you will find that the new paragraph is inside the old paragraph and the whole old paragraph is connected to the body the is appended to the body you can skip these statements and just now let us look at a case uh, about in appending the input to the document so all you need to do is uh, repeat the same step so instead i'll just remove this and take it out and instead of uh, the para all i'm going to do is var input let's say this is called as uh, input variable and inside that i'm going to type in the don't forget the tags here this uh, great less than and greater than sign and i'm going to close it like this this is a very concise statement not complete uh, you, you would have more name and uh, value and everything else but we are skipping it for now and we are going to take this input variable and put it into in here so let us see whether it works or not so as you can see a input field has been created it has nothing no value or nothing because we did not give anything uh, in this declaration but that's how you add the uh, new element so basically the syntax would be to have a dollar and create the html tag like a href equal to something something and then take that variable which is written by the dollar function and append it to the body or to any other html tag that you want it so i hope that was clear enough uh, thanks for watching